This video will really help beginners understand iMovie. It's about the amazing trailers feature that is built into iMovie that will let you produce a really professional looking video with very, very little effort and no knowledge of how to edit. So not only does this trailer feature produce a short movie, but I'll show you as we go through this tutorial how you can use it to start making your full blockbuster, full feature movie. At the end of the video, I'll review what you've learned and I'll also show you how to use the free trailer music in your other projects. I'm Bruce McBride and my goal is to improve your knowledge and to speed up your workflow in iMovie. In the description below, you'll find timestamps that will allow you to jump to different parts of the video so that you don't have to actually follow through the total video, just look at the parts that you want to know about. If you haven't done so already, please like, subscribe and press the bell. Trailers in iMovie are a really misunderstood feature and most people avoid them because, they, as I mentioned before, they tend to look confusing to start with. Well, I'm going to expel that idea completely in this video and show you how to easily use trailers and in the process learn so much about iMovie. So the big lesson in this tutorial is that trailers is the way to start using iMovie without knowing anything about video editing. So our first thing to do is to create a new project. And to do that, we come to our projects and we click Create New and we'll click Trailer. And these are the various different trailers that we've got. So we can play any of these, just run them through as a template. And you can pick the one that you might want to use. While you're playing them, listen to the audio because that can make quite a lot of difference. We're actually going to use this one here because we're going to put a wedding trailer together. So incidentally, that music that you listen to is professionally produced music and you can use it in any of your projects because it's royalty free. So later in the video, I'll show you how you can save the music and use it in your other projects. So for now, we have the trailer. It opens up on the outline tab. There are three tabs, outline, storyboard, and shot list. And we'll spend most of the time on the storyboard. So in the outline, then you'll probably want to change the name of your video. So we'll call it wedding. The other thing I suggest you do is that you add your cast members. So this is for Gloria and Michael. You'll see why we're doing this in a little later. And I also suggest that you, you add your studio name, which is whatever name you want to do. I call mine Romantic Weddings. And then decide on what logo you want to use. There are a number of different logos that you could try out. I've selected Dandelion and you'll see that in a moment. And for the rest of it, you can fill this out later. When you're looking at the various different trailers, they have different cast members. Now this one we pick Romantic only has two cast members and you can't change it. Blockbuster, the Friendship and the Travel trailers all have varying casts and the length of the music will change on depending on the number of cast members. And so you can click on the plus and the minus to add cast members for those. And also in the pets trailer, then you can select the pet that you want to do the movie about. And the interesting thing about the pets trailers is that when you come to the text or the titles, then the footprints will show for that particular pet or monster or horse or dog. So now let's go to the storyboard. And as we enter the storyboard, you'll notice that Gloria's name and Michael's name has been brought in here. So Gloria traveled to an exotic land. Well, what we want to do on this one is say that Gloria prepared for the wedding. So enter 
glorious detail there and we're going to add Gloria's image into the areas that say Gloria and into the areas that say Michael you're going to end up putting Michael in there and I wouldn't worry too much about the two shot or the medium ones you'll see in a moment that they are not so important but work along with them as they may help you make a decision on what video to put in. For our first one there and this is how we enter video in we're going to select this drop box and then we'll look for a, an image of, of Gloria and as you come up here into the browser you'll notice that you've got the little yellow lines there and wherever you're selecting now is the part of the footage or the portion of the footage that's going to come in and then the plus sign will allow you to put that in and now that one's in there we'll come to another shot for the preparations for Gloria and this one here let's use say something here and we will put this here now now don't be worried too much about what you put in there you can adjust the length of those later and then we can go through and put all of the other footage in there but what I'd like to show you is how you can modify the footage as you bring it in so what this little button does is it allows you to have either the audio from the original footage playing along with the music as well or you can turn off the audio from the original footage this button here will let you empty the Dropbox so that you can put something else in there or you can certainly pop over it and while it's highlighted you can enter another clip and that will replace what's in there so this is just a way of emptying the Dropbox so you can put something in later on this one here we've got two shots so let's bring the mother shot in here at the bottom here it shows you the portion of the clip that you've currently got selected if you need to modify that you can see that as you move this up here the yellow outline shows you the length of this particular clip or this particular drop box now you can't change the length of the drop boxes but we will see later when we convert this video that you will be able to change them but at this point in time you can't change the length once we've got a drop box selected in the storyboard then any of the tools that iMovie has available except for audio are available to be used so you can come to the color tools you can select stabilization so we can stabilize that piece of video if you want to come to this tab here then you can select different filters and so then you can have the different filter effects so something that really will help a romantic wedding type video is to change the speed of things so there's the normal speed and you see it's pretty jumpy and, and bounces around so we'll select that one and we'll come to the speed control and we'll set that to slow and then once you've set it at slow you can have it at 10% 50% or auto let's bring it down to 25% and now when we play it through so once you've produced your trailer then when you click on projects again it will ask you to name it but I've pre-prepared one for you and so we will go to the pre-prepared one because that will save you the time of me putting all of the clips into this trailer and we've got the Gloria and Michael trailer there so this is it completely filled now and at any time you can select any portion it will play from that and anywhere in the video you can start to play from So once we've done that and you're happy with what's there, remembering you can always come back and adjust it later anyway, then we can go to the export and export the video. So let's make it the best quality. We'll do audio and video. We'll do it at 1080p and selecting next we can then save that so there it is saved on the computer so we can now play that in its entirety
what I'd like to do now is to change this trailer into a full length project so that you can then start your blockbuster movie rather than just having the two minute or so trailer and use the trailer portion as the start of your main movie so that then you can add the rest of your video increase the length of some of the clips take out some of the titles that you don't want and generally change the details of the video so that you can then start creating your complete blockbuster so to do that we need to come back to our projects first of all what i'd like to do is to click on the little round circle here and we'll duplicate the project this will help us at a later date because when you convert from a trailer to a project you actually replace that trailer so in this case here we've got a duplicate to come back to later so again let's click on the little white circle and this time we'll convert the trailer to a movie and now you can see the standard movie timeline that you normally see in iMovie so if you want to you can lengthen some of the clips or shorten them if they're too long and you can actually delete some of the titles let's take that out as well you can put your own transitions in there rather than dissolves if you want to and one of the other things you can do is you can take out the Hollywood effect at the end you can also replace your audio and I suggest you be a little bit careful about audio because of royalties and so always try to use royalty free music and an example of this would be go to YouTube's free royalty music which is available and you'll see it here and I'm going to use one of their ones here let's say rising sunshine I'll simply drag it into the timeline and I can either replace delete the soundtrack from the trailer or just reduce the audio and now this audio will play rather than the trailer's audio and then that gives you some extra length for your video and the other thing that we should be doing now is adding the rest of our footage and if I add this 22 minute section here this is the full ceremony and so we can simply select that and press the E key and now the full ceremony is in the video and as I promised at the beginning of the video you can use the Apple music it's royalty free and you can use it in your other projects and the way that you would do that is you would come to the projects you'd create a new project with the trailer again and then let's find one that we want and this music here could sound really good in one of your other projects so let's double click it here and that will open it go back to the projects we can then now convert that to a movie there's the audio a couple of things we could do we can reveal that in the project media and you can see here it is here which will allow you to add it to other projects or you can simply select it down here and copy it then we can open another project so let's open this one here and so now we can paste that and there's the music in another project so we've learned some important lessons here trailers are an easy way to get started in iMovie and even though they're somewhat restricted you can make a lot of adjustments to them like changing color or using the filters or stabilization and then if you convert to a the trailer to a movie then of course you can change the length of clips and change your music the trailer is just the start to your blockbuster movie and you found out that you can use the music from the trailers in your other projects so i hope you've enjoyed this tutorial Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. There are more tips tutorials uploaded every Sunday. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching.